warrior stuff and everybody was kind of like, oh, it's so heavy. It makes me think about when King Saul was having David put on, you know, his helmet and all of his armor. He's like, I can't even do anything because it was so big. So it's kind of fun to be able to see him come back and, um, and see all of the new faces that are here at Summit. So Jamie Yant, I would like to have you come forward. What an honor it is. to know the greens um, they are a huge part of my faith walk so I can't say you know thank you enough to them uh, Brendan is my favorite counselor here just for the record I mean, you're not supposed to probably play favorites but he's my favorite um, of everyone so is Brendan anybody else's favorite oh, yeah you're cool man yeah, yeah. he's my favorite all right, all right. Hey, Brendan, that's good. Sorry, so, hey, so um, real quickly, did, did any of y'all remember me when I came back from, from last time? I think, were any of you here? Well, that's good. Somebody remembers me because so I, did, I did something of importance. Like, you remember me, right? That's cool. Okay. Well, so uh, here's the thing. Uh, thank you all for having me. It's, a, it's an honor and a blessing. Um, and it's crazy. I've been able to speak at a lot of different things. And you know, this is a time I'm the most nervous. Y'all just, you know, kids make me nervous. So, yeah, it's cool. Because um, here's the thing. Like, I am just like this little five-year-old trapped in this big body, right? So, I, I love just, I, I saw the guys playing basketball out there and everybody. And it's like, that's, I mean, that's my heart is just to play in um, just, I hope that one of y'all just, just gets something up. I don't bore you to death. But so tell me this. Like the, the theme is uh, superheroes, uh, heroes stand for truth, right? Is that the theme for today? Yes. Am I right? Like yes, for, the I, whole I week. for the whole week? Yep. Okay, so I am yes. on track. So um, t like somebody tell me who's your favorite superhero. Just raise your hand, can't all like who's your favorite superhero? Wonder Woman. Where did I get Marvel? Like, how is this? What, why is she your favorite? Is, I mean, she's my favorite because she's really fast and she, um, we really have a lot in common. That's awesome. You know what? I'm, I'm married to Wonder Woman, just so you know. It's a little off the record. But, so, who's your favorite? Right there, my man. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. You are my favorite right now. I love Doctor Strange. Why do you like Doctor Strange? Because he's like a wizard. He's a wizard, right? He's yeah. pretty cool, right? And I like he's... Harry Potter. So. You like Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. I love it. Yeah, All right, what about you? Uh, uh, Iron Man. Iron Man. Why do you like Iron Man? He's like him. He is cool, right? He's a genius. That's right. Okay, so one more. Okay. Right there are you. You look like you've been playing hard, either that or it's just hot up here and you're sweating like I am. I've been playing basketball. <laughs> All right. Who's your favorite superhero? Captain America. Captain America. Why, why, why is Captain America your favorite? He's one of my favorites, too. He's super cool. Right? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so here's the thing that I, I want to share with y'all. Just I I believe that there is a superhero inside of all of us. There's a superhero inside of me. There's a superhero inside of you. And I love it that you said you get you're a lot like Wonder Woman because it, it's it's a thought process, right? So there there's a hero inside of all of us, and I believe we can all be heroes if we stand for truth, right? That's, you know, heroes stand for truth. 
And so, you know, t- tell me, I mean, somebody was talking about different ways, you know, things that you can stand for truth. Just give me a couple ways you can stand for truth. Brendan, how can you stand for truth? Um, you can stand for truth by staying to your faith and believing in God no matter what anyone tries to tell you because he is the true God and the most important. It's hard to follow that answer, right? So you can try. Speak out against what's wrong. That's right. Truth. So I I have a saying, right? The truth is the truth no matter how you receive it. You don't have to believe a truth. So like, if, like, I hope you all believe in gravity, right? But if you don't believe in gravity, it, it's still a truth, and the truth applies to you. So if you jump out that window, the truth's going to apply to you. You're going to fall, right? And so um, the truth that, that I believe is the same truth that Brendan believes. The truth is that Jesus Christ died for us, for our sins. He rose again, and He's my Lord and Savior, Lord in my life. And so, you know, I hope that you receive that truth. But here's the thing. I'm one. I, I, I believe there's a hero inside of all of us, and I believe that um, I'm gonna try to show you how that can apply to you, right? How can you be a hero? And it goes to one of my favorite Bible verses, right? And Nikki alluded to it because when I was here the last time, I talked about the armor of God, right? And so the full armor of God, and I, I was. I want to do something different, right? And so it's Marvel, right? So you got to put a little, little superhero spin on the full armor of God. So God, give me grace that I'm going to spin it a little bit to fit the MCU. And uh, I believe you will uh, because none of us are perfect. Certainly I'm not. So the whole, whole armor of God, I'm just going to start by reading it and then piece by piece. And I hope that you can maybe see a little bit of yourself within it. So uh, it says, finally, be strong in the Lord. And in the strength and his power, put on the whole armor of God so you may be able to stand against yep, the wiles of the devil. For a struggle is against blood is not against blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of the present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having prevailed against everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and belt yourself with the waist of truth. Okay? So, I got my my bag here. Anybody else a wrestling fan? I know I have one wrestling fan. Right, so... The champ is here. <laughs> so, uh, I'm a, I, have, I know it's not an MCU, but we're going to put a little spin, right? So you can be a champion for God, right? With the belt of truth, okay? Because I'm a big guy, these don't fit very well. So, <clears throat> and here's the thing. Like, if, if you get anything from me tonight, I hope you take this. The truth is... That God loves you and you are never alone. And, and here's the thing. I was a kid once and and so I, I, you know, I don't want to go into all of my backstory. But you know, when, when I was your age, I wish someone would have told me, you, you're not alone. Like my faith walk didn't start until I was 27 years old. So you all have a lot of time to kind of get this right. But let me tell you this. God was with me the whole way. And you can look back and see how God was with you, but you are not alone, and God loves you. It doesn't matter the mistakes that you've made. God loves you. And He he loves you unconditionally. He loves you more than your parents love you. He loves you more than your counselors love you. He loves you in in, in a way that you cannot even understand. I'm a father. I have two boys. I love them. You know, there are everything to me. I am married to Wonder Woman and she is like super cool. She is my whole world. Um, but God, my love for them is uh, doesn't even measure up to the love for God. And God loved me even when I wasn't on a faith walk. Even when I was doing, uh, we'll say just silly things, okay? So, um, let's move on. 
and put on the breastplate of righteousness. All right, so here's the thing. My favorite Marvel superhero Spider -Man. is Spider-Man. Black Spider-Man, right? So um, you got to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, hey, look, so here's the deal. No one has ever seen me and Superman in the same room at the same time. So I'm saying, I know this is like Marvel, but... But so here's the thing. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. You know, when... How many superheroes you know when... It's, it's always like, somebody stand up here, stand up with me. You stand up too. Come on, stand up here right beside me. Just do a superhero pose with me. Somebody have a picture of these two guys. Oh, I love it. Right? Do you feel cool when you're doing that? Huh? Yeah. Did you feel cool? I feel cool. I feel like he's a slide. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. So you, you put on the breastplate of righteousness, right? And, and really all that means, like superheroes, like they, they just stand for something, right? They stand for truth. And so that's just their insignia. I don't know Batman, right? I know that's DC, right? <laughs> Superman will crush Batman, by the way. Um, any, any, like, discussion on that, but no discussion. So, but, you know, it's, it's putting on that breastplate of righteousness, right? And that's, that's like what superheroes do. You're a superhero, and so what, what you stand for, your name, who you are, is in God, and be proud of that, right? If you ever want to, like, if you ever feel down, like, just stand up and just do this superhero pose, because it, it'll make you feel cool. You might look silly, somebody might laugh at you, but you know what? It's cool, right, y'all? You know, you want to get with me on that? Okay. So, lace up the sandals in preparation for the gospel of peace. I got on my running shoes. These aren't my fancy Hi. shoes. But here's the thing. When you become the hands and feet of Jesus, you've got to move. Somebody set it up here. You know, being a Christian, it, it's about sharing, you know, your testimony, right? It's about calling out to others. And sometimes in life, you, you might be the only Bible that someone else reads. People are always watching you, you know, especially as you get older when your kids is like, you're probably looking up to somebody right now. And so when I was your age, I didn't have somebody that was grounded in faith to look up to. You know, I had cousins that were heathens to be, you know, to say the best. And so that was my example. And I followed that example. But, you know, I encourage you like to find someone who is grounded in the faith, and then you'll put on the sandals, and it is time to move, right? When you get out of here, like, it would be so great to come back next year and to see, like, twice as many people in here. It'd be twice as hot, but we have <laughs> twice as many people in here. It's because you share how awesome it is that you're here and what you learned here, and that's what, that's what you know, being the hands and feet of Jesus is all about. So um, let's go to the next one. With all of these, take up the shield of faith, which with, with which you will be able to quench the flaming arrows of the evil one. So I have my shield of faith back here. So, the shield of faith, right? And so, here's the thing. With the shield of faith, what, what are some things, like, I'm, I'm just going to speak from things when I was a kid, right? That the enemy would, would throw at me. You're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're too scrawny. You don't matter. You don't belong. Your parents don't want you. They, they don't care about you. You know, when I was older, I was homeless for over a year and a half. You know, and, you know, those are things that the enemy is going to throw at you forever. And so when you have the shield of faith, you can knock those down because you stand on the truth. Okay. And so that gets to my favorite one right here. So I'm super excited about this one. All right. Lace up your sandals. Take the helmet of salvation. So here's the thing. I looked back there. I was going to put on some of those cool outfits. But they, they didn't have any of my size. I was like, 
Well, I've got to talk to the counselors. Like, none of those would fit. I have an Iron Man helmet at home. I have a Star-Lord helmet at home. But they just don't fit on my big head. So it just wouldn't work. So we got to go with the hat. Some of y'all have a hat. I'm, I'm a hat person. If you see me without a hat, like, I'm probably in trouble. Or I have to be dressed up for something that I don't want to be there. So when, when I, the hat goes backwards, it's always kind of like business, right? Um, you know, so the helmet, all right? So we're, we you put it in a modern day spin, right? You can deal with the hat thing, right? I see a couple of y'all are hat people. All right, so. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So my other thing that I have back here. It's, it's like, God forgive me, it's a hammer. But that hammer just seems a little cooler, right? So, you, throw, you have the, short, the, the shield and the sword, right? And so, it's a hammer, an axe, it's kind of both, right? But here's the thing, it's cool, right? You might think this isn't cool. If not, you can go downstairs and we'll just wait for you later. Um, but so, and it's cool, right? But here's the thing, the Word of God is cool too. The Word of God is cool. And so it's the sword of the Spirit will say the hammer. Or somebody said the axe of the Spirit. But I'm going to give you one thing that you can use. And so I love the one, the one verse that I love above all is this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? And all things doesn't mean some things. It means all things, anything. God can turn a situation around in an instant if you just believe. And it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're alone. God is always there for you. Okay? So, as we finish up, pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. So, prayer is the last thing. And here's what I'll tell you. Jesus, Jesus is your best friend. Jesus is your best friend. And Jesus, right, is always there for you. And just remember, we all have these things. You may not have a hammer at home, but you, you're armed with the Word of God. You may not have a shield. My son collects all of this stuff, so I had to leverage him to borrow it from him. This is actually my belt. We wrestle with my two boys, and whenever they can pin me, they can take it, but they have not taken it. <laughs> and I figured out the tag team action. So, um, but, you know, here's what I tell you. Jesus, Jesus is the ultimate sidekick, right? Well, what better sidekick? I mean, Robin is like, come on, man. Batman didn't have the best, you know. Um, but, you know, but Jesus is the best sidekick. So, but here's the thing. Jesus wants you to be the hero of your own story. You know, Jesus is the ultimate sidekick, but really, we're his sidekick, and we just don't know it. It's what, not what Jesus can do, it's what Jesus can do through you for the kingdom, right? And so, um, you know, he wants you to be the superhero of your own story. So if, if you get anything from me, I just, I just, I'll say it again. You know, there, there was a time when I was, uh, you know, when I was your age, man, I got, I got picked on. I got beat up. I, I went on to play professional basketball, but I quit playing basketball because I got beat up in, in the locker room. And, and I walked away from that. I quit playing. I, got, I was set on fire when I was in, in high school. I mean, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was always picked on. My mom and dad really didn't support me. My dad always verbalized that he really didn't want me. But, but here's the thing. But God, right, God changes everything. Even when I wasn't on a faith walk, even when I didn't bless you, even when God wasn't a part of my life, I can look back on how God was guiding my steps, right? And you might be sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, how, how could this ever happen, you know? But you know what? If you lean into God, God took me around the world to play professional basketball for four years. You know, he's given me an amazing family. He's given me this, this, this big body to be able to break some lifting records and I'm, um, you know, fully intend this year I'll have three world records at least. 
uh, to claim for, for picking up heavy stuff and putting it back down. Um, and, and it's all, all for the glory of God. You know, I was homeless at one time in my life. For, for over a year and a half, I lived out of my car. You know, it was on my own, wasn't welcome anywhere. So wherever you're at, man, you're so, you're so young and you may not even understand those things. But no matter where you are, just realize Jesus is your best friend. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And, and here's the thing. It's, it, the last thing I'll leave you with is um, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Any of y'all watch The Mandalorian? Yeah, so this is the way. Okay? This is the way. Jesus is the way. He's the truth. Right? He is the truth. And then we stand for truth. And He is the life. And so, if you, you know, if you have not accepted Jesus into your heart, all, all I can say is, you know, that's between you and God. But if God, if, if he's pulling on your heart and you have this tug, like, man, maybe, just maybe, I want to tap into some of that superhero, supernatural power that's called the Holy Spirit, have a conversation with my man, Brendan, or my favorite person here, Nikki Green, somebody that you trust, and make make that decision. What what Because what a blessing that's been in my life, you know, to... To be here and speak, and, and to be honest with you, I, in, in uh, high school and college, almost flunked out because I was afraid to talk. I actually cried as a senior because I didn't want to talk in front of people. Um, and but God, God took me to Cowboy Stadium. I spoke in front of 25,000 people at one time, and boy, was I afraid. And, but but it's all what God can do through your life and you can be the hero of your own story. And if there's anything that I can do to help y'all, I hope that y'all remember me. I'll be back next year, I hope, Lord willing, that these folks invite me and that y'all uh, had a good time. And I'm just thankful for each and every one of you. Um, and all the glory goes to God. And just love y'all. And you guys have something awesome here. Man, I was back there as you guys were worshiping. And y'all are, are awesome. It's cool, man. Great. I, I was like, like, man, this is it. So y'all are blessed, and thank y'all for just listening to me.